Welcome to Testimony Mountain. So glad to have you with me today. And I'm excited to share a continuing journey of encounters in the heavenly realm. And this one actually happened on my birthday. It, it was uh, such an amazing experience. Uh, as I mentioned before, I believe these encounters typically happen when I'm in a corporate worship setting, just engaging, enjoying the worship, and then seeing myself in the heavenly places with Jesus and just being obedient to whatever he is showing me or doing. This encounter was unique in that there was a particular interplay between what was happening in the earthly realm and what was happening in the heavenly realm. And so in the earthly realm, I was listening to the worship music and, and the, the lyrics to the song. And I can't remember what the first song was, but the second one was, he's a good, good father. And so I took the, the kids that I was ministering to at that moment, and I brought them before the father and his throne. And it was such a beautiful picture. We were gathered around him and I was teaching the kids the song, he's a good, good father. And he was right there smiling at them, encouraging them, ministering to their hearts. And we were just having a wonderful time. And that was all I was expecting was going to happen. And then I was a little surprised to look over and I saw uh, a figure by the, a door and she opened the door and invited the kids to walk through this door. Now, beyond the door, I couldn't see. It looked just like dark. And because in times past when a child would, their spirit would go back down into the earthly realm, it usually was going down into darkness. And so I thought, well, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, should I go? Should I stay? Should I follow them? You know, and I didn't know what to do. So I was just kind of sitting there. And then I saw this being close the door. And I looked up at the father and I said, where did they go? And I felt like he said they went to uh, receive teaching from the seven spirits of God. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. If I'd known that, I would have gone too. Uh, and I said, can I go too? And he looked at me and he said, well, the door is closed. And I said to him, but it's my birthday. <laughs> and he said, the door is closed. Um, and so we just sat there for a little bit in each other's company. And, you know, and it, it wasn't a bad or negative thing. He was just letting me wait. And so I asked again, may I go? And he said, yes, you may. And the door opened again. And I was able to walk into where these children were being taught by the seven spirits of God. And I tell you, I don't even have the words to describe it. It was so far above and beyond, you know, anything that I could think or imagine. Um, witnessing what was going on in the interaction and interplay and what I understood was that these children were being equipped and the best terminology I can use is with atomic bomb of love to be able to release in the darkest hour and in the darkest places that no one else would have access to these perpetrators but them and I was so stunned and astonished at this concept because up to this point all of my interactions with the kids had been defensive had been in this place of um, loving on them trying to protect them uh, you know pour into them love for you know what they were encountering but what was happening to this particular group of children was they were being equipped um, offensively to be able to release the love of the Lord in very, very, very dark places. And I know maybe this concept may be hard to understand, um, but I've been processing it more and more um, since then and understanding that the the joy and delight is as our spirits are more and more connected with god 
is this place of giving and receiving that is a beautiful flow that most survivors have lost because everything was taken from us and we've learned to just you know do 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 for others perform all of those kinds of things and we've not learned how to receive and how to walk in that power and authority and so what a beautiful place for these children their spirit to even now in the midst of horrendous things they're going through being able to be built up and equipped to be an overcomer and honestly uh, though i don't have a memory of this particular thing happening to me uh, if you listen to my testimony uh, my story that i released a couple of weeks or months ago um, i encountered that atomic bomb of love for my perpetrators as at a later date in a way that allowed me to be able to release the love of God to them in a way that was completely supernatural. And I believe this is why for me, even though I experienced incredible trauma uh, in SRA and being trafficked off world and other things like that, uh, trauma mind control, that I have been able to walk through it in a much better way than many other people have, if that makes sense. Uh, sometimes I've asked the Lord and go, you know, am I crazy? How can I walk in ministering and living a full life and yet be recovering these memories? Uh, it doesn't make sense because other people who those memories are surfacing, um, you know, particularly in the beginning are hardly functional. And I, I feel that because of the grace that happened that I was equipped and now I'm able to watch others being equipped and participate in it. Uh, I believe that the Lord is raising up a new army and it's those of us who have been incredibly abused. But because of the grace and the amazing love of God, we get to turn it all around on the enemy and to release these atomic bombs of love uh, at the right point in the right time to overcome in incredible, incredible, powerful ways. And so I just want to encourage you on your journey, whether you are a survivor or not, is that you have a part to play in this amazing story of God's love and his restoration. When we look just in the natural realm, we can be so discouraged to go like, there is so much evil, so much wickedness, so much horrendous, horrible stuff going on. And we can, you know, be like, oh, what can I do? But believe me, the power of God is there. He has his people in place, his, even his children in place to release the power and light and restoration of God in ways that we cannot even imagine. And one of those atomic bombs of love might be in you. And so just encourage you, ask the Lord. At, they love questions. They love for us to come and grow in relationship and intimacy with them. To be able to see our place in this beautiful story of transformation of restoration that God has in the world. And so I hope this encourages you today. I might have shared some things that you may not have understood, but just take it to the Lord and ask him to show you deeper revelations of his power and his love to overcome. And so I just want you to know that you have a testimony. It might be a little testimony, it might be a big testimony, but you're alive, you're watching this today, you have a testimony to share. And just encourage you to release that. If that's with uh, a neighbor, a friend, it might even be a stranger, just letting them know Jesus loves you and you can overcome. Encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already, to like, to share, to pass this along to someone to whom it will be of an encouragement. And so I bless you today as an overcomer.